just want to listen to this. Oh. Welcome back guys, this morning I'm down in freezing cold Herefordshire to review this 340i individual. Um, absolutely beautiful car, purple silk, it's got lots of options on it. Uh, we'll have a walk around the car, we'll go for a drive and it'll be very interesting driving this as well because I'm used to the 3-series platform, I've got a 335D myself, so it'll be interesting to see what the top spec petrol variant offers sort of say over my car and what it's like to live with on a day-to-day -day basis. So keep tuned and we'll, uh, we'll crack on. First noticeable difference with this car over my car for instance is the fact that it's a petrol, it's six cylinders, mine's six cylinders but it's so smooth. It's got the M Performance exhaust on this as well uh, and believe it or not that's actually the same M Performance exhaust uh, that you get on a 140 part by part number. It's exactly the same length. Another good way in which BMW obviously using the same parts to keep costs down. It's around about £730-£750 for, for that exhaust system as well for the chrome. I think they do the, this has got the carbon tips. I'll just go through into the interior now and I'll show you it's got lovely opal white interior leather uh, which is an individual leather spec but the difference in this to the Dakota leather is massive and it feels so much more premium and, and ups the 3 series to the next level of quality in my opinion. So around to the back of the car we have these beautiful M performance exhausts, um, these are the carbon ones and as you can see from the boot space as well plenty of room here the only real drawback with a saloon car is the aperture but the actual space it goes back a real long way this particular car hasn't got the split folding rear seats so you can't slide uh, objects through so that's an option as well that I'd recommend going for if you get a saloon over an estate obviously your estate you haven't got the issue anyway obviously no spare wheel in this just run flat tires step into this 3 series the first thing you'll notice is the fact that the interior is so nice I don't know what it'd be like to live with on a day-to-day -day basis these opal uh, leather BMW seats but they look absolutely awesome it's actually got a BMW individual paint color which is called purple silk um, and I think it's just nice to have a different color it just makes it a bit more unique and stands out a bit from the usual 3 series I think for me you can tell there's a little bit, there is a lack of torque. I know some people watching this who've got 140s with the same engine think, what's this, what's this going on about? But I'm just used to getting out of a car with 630 newton meters of torque. So when you, when you do that and you get into this, and it's about 450 newton meters, you can notice the difference. Not to say it's you know a slow car, it's, I'll be stupid to say that. It's a ridiculously powerful car. And I think it's a shame that really, this is probably a dinosaur because in, I reckon five years time, when hybrids um, have, have more taken off and electric cars taken off, you know, I can't see there being many more straight six three litre engines in BMWs, maybe for the next five years, maybe. Um, I mean, back in the day, you could buy an E46 
uh, 320i and it'd have a straight six, it'd be a 2.2 straight six. And the sweet spot of, of, of a lot of you will probably know is a 325 engine uh, and then a 330. So if you want a straight six engine of three series nowadays, a, three, a, a 320, they don't even do the 325, a 330 is a two litre, 252 brake horsepower. If you want a straight six, um, three litre, you have to go all the way up to a 340i, which is around about the 40,000 pound mark, which is this. But when you get in and drive it, you just want to listen to this. Ah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong, my car is really quick, but this. It's something special and the sound that it produces. You just cannot replicate this in a diesel. I don't care what anyone says. And yeah, technically diesel of the 335 is a little bit quicker, but if fuel was no object, I would have this car all day long over a 335D. I really would. It's just a beautiful, smooth, straight six engine rear wheel drive it's just the perfect driver's car for me i think what i'd top it up actually is if it was a tourer there's 340i tourer maybe like a shadow edition i think that would be the, the you know the, the ultimate and, until you go for like an m3 but then an m3 you haven't got the practicality of say a tourer so 340i with some nice individual bits on it and you've got yourself a really nice package before you go up to like an alpina and then that's the next level of customization and, and sort of exclu exclusivity I remember growing up and one of my good friends, Dad, used to have an Alpina actually. And the colour just brings it back to me because it's like a purple, um, it's a purple silk. And he had uh, an Alpina as an E46 shape, uh, B3, 3.3. And I remember I was probably only about 14 or 15, something like that. And it was an absolutely stunning car, cream leather interior purple piping, purple, Cadbury's purple car, and I've never ever, even to this day, seen another car that looks so good as that. And this just sort of reminds me of it. I know it's not an Alpina, but you've got the lovely cream, uh, you know, almost white opal interior with, with the purple exterior. And the combination with the, with the dark and the contrast, it's so good. It just looks stunning. And it's just not your standard run of the mill three series. And the M Performance exhaust in it as well, um, just makes it sound next level. I don't know if you can hear. Anybody who owns a 140 needs to get this, or a 240, needs to get this exhaust. I know that, I know that Joe Achilles reviewed a similar looking car to this, but it was a 440, similar sort of purple. I think it was a different shade of purple on the individual paint scheme or paint palette, but it was a 440i. And like I say, for doing long distances in this, it's so comfortable. This hasn't actually got adaptive suspension either. But I dread to think what fuel consumption you're going to get. I mean, I'm averaging at the moment 26.9 mpg, which is pretty, pretty poor. But I'm sure if you went on a long run the motorway, you could probably get sort of mid to high 30s, which I think again isn't too bad. I remember when I had that 440i coupe, the yellow one. Hang on, sorry, I'm just being a child. And the chassis of a 3 Series is a lot, is a lot in my opinion, it's a lot more refined chassis than say a 1 and a 2 when you go three and four upwards, the handling does improve. And like I mentioned earlier, that exhaust system, believe it or not, I didn't realize this, but that exhaust system is exactly the same exhaust system you get on a 140 by part number, which is mad because you think the three series is like a longer car, but it's actually the same same piece, same part, which is, which is really good. So in terms of full spec that it's got, so like I say, so it's a 340i F30 saloon, a purple silk paint job, Opal leather interior. It's got the inno the innovation package, which gives things like the um, adaptive cruise control. I'm not going to try that today because I'm not going anywhere near any motorways, which is really where it's probably designed to be used. It's got the adaptive cruise control, which is the sort of thing you'd get on like a five series or seven series. So it'll sort of hold your speed and speed you back up and slow you back down, which is quite a nice feature. You'll you'll notice in the front bumper on this car, or the grille, the mesh, it's got like a, a black box, which is basically a front sort of um, radar that measures the distance from the car in front. It's also got the M Sport Plus package as well, and all in all, 
it's just a beautiful car. Now in terms of figures on the car, because everybody wants to know that, so the car's packing 326 brake horsepower, 450 newton meters of torque, zero to 16 5.1, which some people think, I may think we quicker than that, but actually there's plenty. It's really, really quick. It goes really, really well. So with that M4 Plus package, obviously you get the Harman Kardon, you get the, twin, uh, the 19 inch M Sport wheels. So we go this guy. Here we go. And like I said earlier, I think in a world where fuel consumption and emissions and all these things are in the news and the press, it's a breath of fresh air to get into a car that just says, you know what, up yours to the rules. Three litres, straight six, petrol, you know, rear wheel drive, let's have loads of fun. Okay, it's not admittedly it's not brilliant on fuel, but I just think this level of car in a few years' time will no longer exist, unfortunately. And if you want one, I'll grab one now. And the fact that the one series is coming towards the end of its life as well, no one knows what the future holds for that really. Um, it could have a two-litre engine and the four-wheel drive system. No one really knows, but don't think you'll be having a six cylinder again because the B48 engine and the B58 engine, believe it or not, is the same engine. It's just the B48 is just missing two cylinders off the end of the engine. So it could potentially use the B48, I don't know. But it'll be interesting to see what BMW do in that car when the new one comes out. I think me personally, after driving this car, I don't really want to give it back. <laughs> And I think actually, if I was genuinely in the market to buy a six cylinder petrol, I would choose a 340i or a 440i over an M3 or an M4. And some people probably watch this thing, what you want. But it's just more of a usable car. It's so comfortable. It's got so much power. The 326 horsepower with the M Performance exhaust is probably unlocking a little bit more power as well. And you can get an M Performance power upgrade kit on this, which takes them to about 360 horsepower, a bit like the 440 I had. Do you need more than that in UK roads, really? I don't think so. I think this is perfect. This is the car that I would go for if I was buying a petrol BMW. Handles so well. I just can't wipe a smile off the face, I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in. I've got a few of the cool things lined up uh, in the following weekends to come. Keep tuned. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give the, the video a like or a thumbs up if you enjoy the content, if you like this video. Um, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. That's good.